Hey, Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. This is around the house. What you're looking at is our LG dishwasher, and it's approximately five years old. About two years after we got it, we wound up getting a code. It's the famous HE, which was the heat. And as you saw in that video, I changed out the motor with the heating unit. And we haven't had a problem since. We've had it running about two months now. It's probably done, oh, probably 10, maybe 11 washes. Now we're getting what's the key, uh, as you can see, the code is flashing right now, and it acts like it's pumping, but it's not. This is what's called a leakage error. So, it could be a door gasket, in this case it's not. Um, the float assembly is stuck, and you have the controller trouble. Well... What, I've, what we've found is it's actually a float assembly is stuck. And it says you have to replace the float assembly. Um, what we've found to fix the problem momentarily is take it out, is pull it out of its spot, and go ahead and flip it. And what that's going to do is it's going to drain water and get that float to fix itself so that's what I'm going to do right now have to disconnect it under the sink which I have done because it's the only way you can pull it out and then we're going to go ahead and flip it over and this will be the third time I've done this so I'm going to have to do something with the float because I'm tired of <laughs> unplugging it all the time and then redoing it so stay tuned Okay, so we're going to get it pulled out. I said I disconnected it. Disconnected the hose. And I can get this fully permanently secured on here, so it's still pull this out. I'm not making too much of a Because I got hard, we got hard water. Start go down and plug it back in. You gotta unplug it. They say go ahead and unplug it, wait about 48 hours. And, um, but we have found if you if you tip it, it'll it'll fix itself. But I'm still trying to figure out where that float is. Okay, I just went down there and plugged it in, and our code is out. So I don't know, just, just that little bit of moving it around somehow reset that float, I'm thinking. Because I think what it is, it was saying the float, we have hard water. So 
I got to assume maybe because of the calcium buildup or something like that, but I don't see it. But the only thing I did, the only thing I did was bang on this thing. There's a little bit of water in here. Is it, is it leaking like it did before? Mm -hmm. We'll turn it on and see if it'll stay on. Mm -hmm. Only push it once. Mm -hmm. Push it once. Okay, so it's back up. It's ready to run again, depending on when we cycle it. I don't have the water hooked up to it, but um, at this point, it's normal. The it's a vent. It's called an air guide. And according to the book, it says replace uh, replace the float float assembly. So I've got to find it. But right now, at this point, just moving it around um, and probably tapping on that air guide. Cleared the cleared it up. So there we go. That's a quick quick uh, quick fix for your LG dishwasher if you have an A E code. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like and share. We'll catch you on the next. Crosby's around the house.